All right, if you're a Star Wars or Harry Potter fan or anybody who likes building things with those tiny little blocks, you may understand why Legos are a hot commodity. If you're not, this next story may come as a surprise because officials in Los Angeles say there's been up, an uptick in toy store robberies because, get this, criminals are looking to loot Legos. That's right. Thieves are stealing the mini figurines and creating a black market for the colorful plastic. It's a new kind of brick and mortar, I guess, and they're making some serious cash doing it. Joining us now is News Nation's Nancy Liu. Nancy, I've spent countless hours putting Lego things together with my two boys. What are we learning about these robberies? Oh, well, these are criminals who know that this tiny Star Wars mini figurine is a limited edition one, came out only once, and it's worth $225. And you can see a lot of other figures behind locked glass because they are valuable. And that's why secondary marketplaces are multiplying. We're inside a bricks and minifig store, which is a chain of independent stores. They specialize in buying and trading for Lego fans. But now, criminals fueling a black market, well aware that unopened sets and rare minifigs will keep appreciating in value. In the past few weeks, this store and five other bricks and minifigs locations in Southern California hit by robbers. At this store in Whittier, over $6,000 worth of collectible minifigs scooped away in less than two minutes. Police say often this stuff will show up on a thriving black market online. Some of the rarest minifigs worth over $10,000. LAPD says organized rings are behind many break-ins with criminals who are very targeted. They came in, checked the register first, which we didn't have any cash in it, and they went straight to the minifigs, which are the little guys that go with all the Lego sets. They're the easiest to get. They are the most valuable when it comes to something that's quick and easy to grab. And law enforcement suspects that a lot of stuff is held on to for years before being offloaded online or they're sold to unsuspecting people at Lego conventions. And Elizabeth, another problem is counterfeit Legos because, you know, things like this are worth so much people are trying to reproduce them and just try and make money. Yeah, I can't believe you said $10,000 for on one of those uh, figures are so valuable. That's incredible. Yep. Uh, Nancy Liu. Yeah. Wow, a whole black market I don't think anybody dreamed would ever develop. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.